Okay, the next step would actually I want to do, I want to leave it this one um, hide map here. I want to create overlay view. The, in this case, we can go preview the start our texturing, but we will apply it with um, overview over what we have at this point. So with colorizer, what I'm going to do, it is change just some of the effects. So I want to just create a little bit darker, maybe brownish kind of effect. And I also want to reduce some of this noise. Probably noise will go all the way down. Okay, previewing. In some cases, you want lock preview, so it's make a little bit easy adjustments. In this case, when I modify it, you can see even view quite a bit fast. We'll add. And overall, right here is my noise. Like this area, maybe just a little bit darker. Is saturated. Okay, let's take some of this effect as well. Kind of add okay, maybe brighter. Just overall, again, right here, if we take this one, connecting, let's unlock our preview. And we have it so far, this is very rough, the colors. Again, this is our base, base color. And I will probably come back, remove some green, creating different palette overall. So it will help me, but it's something, some way you need to begin. Next, let's go start overlaying um, our maps. And first I want to overlay from this erosion map to the point. So we'll go use it combiners for this. And nice about combiners because it's mixed input. So we can use it for the color, which represent blue, or an in numeric or other one's effect. So we're going to select our first connect to the main. Okay, and, and next I want to take from our erosion and connecting to this point. But again, what we used it before, it is, we'll go use it our colorizer at this point. Okay, let me kind of move them slightly so we can preview a little bit easy. And let's select from our effect and connecting from this point. The one thing, what I want to do, I want to actually control what area I will use it colorize. So for that one, I actually want to clamp. So we'll go inside and we'll use the clamp tool. Oops, actually, let me select right here. We'll go to connect to our clamp tool. From clamp tool, we'll connect to colorizer and we'll add to this point. So right here, you can see we have some map. Let's go inside this clamp tool and just slightly adjust it. Again, to preview, you can see um, area we can affect. And I'm going to use the expand and just shrink something to apply a little bit more effect to the mountain. I can also apply same just to the top of the mountain. Remember, this is just an area. In this case, if I want to take top mountain, make them kind of more sand brownish color so we'll go to do this way and we'll can take open our color colorizer and just add maybe some effect to this so I'm going to maybe a little bit even darker and let's add more reddish color to this and maybe like less right here effect. So kind of just create um type of mountain. You can see right here we have a nice effect. If we look on our combiner now, okay, let's go look on an overview. You can see we applied right in this area where is mountain. Again, this is just a basic color. So I'm going after and we'll go tweak 
quite a bit with the different colors but right now I want to see just overall areas for the location so my mountain if I want to take this top of this mountain and just apply some specific color just to this without affecting middle grid so it's the way I'm going to do okay the next things also combiner you notice it's using average and I'm not necessarily like this effect in some cases I would recommend to use it with a color overlay kind of to related Photoshop with you familiar it will be a root or a screen root more will be applied as overlay effect then screen it's more like a um, screen effect about Photoshop but it will be lighting up so I like to use kind of root effect better on the colors it will provide a bit better integration more like overlay inside the Photoshop effect you know what maybe I just want to modify a little bit this it's too much green for me right here so I'm going to make a little bit more reddish color okay and maybe you know just a little bit more add the saturation and darken the up slightly here let me see just overall create kind of a little bit more earthy look to this and right here this you can see we have it um, effect let's go and we can bring it a little bit up more again I probably will change this add more desaturated and blend this edge a little bit better again um, I will add more and more layers over of this so we'll see when we're going okay right here the one the next what I want to do it is some of the flow map from my um, overall erosion right here and apply it combine them together but we will have a little bit problem because right here in the middle the colors will start going on top so we need to work on that around um, let's go create another combiner okay we'll go take from um, top from our output this combiner put it in and I want to take this flow map let's use another colorizer I'm just copy this colorizer right here and we'll just take flow map connect to colorizer okay let's preload maybe some desert or other and connect to our combiner at this point okay we'll go as well um, add to the root kind of effect and we can bring string a little bit up okay to preview you will okay let me go connect here and in some case you will notice right here let me create a little bit maybe stronger but we will have a problem inside when these lines will go overlay going from top so I want to actually take some of those areas when we go down and start them as they going closer those um, dissolving dissolve them and make them more transparent so we don't have it these flow lines see like right here we start coming and some of them if we create too high they may be going up on our mountain so I don't want them um, just I want them just coloring closer down because it does not with mixing in some cases you can see they kind of go up you don't want that so we want to work on this for this we need to use the additional masking um, and create specific max so let's go to this we'll go to create a new combiner the reason I want to take this combiner because I want to combine my output map from um, we have it right here let's go to primarily and we want to take it output from our erosion from this position and connecting but again because of this I don't want to take 
straight. I want to kind of slightly blur out this. So we'll go to filter. Let's create blur. We'll take it our effect. So we'll take our flow, connect to the blur. And I actually will take mask and I want slightly preserve. So I set to the mask of this. And we can pop up this slightly maybe to 11. Here, let's preview so you can see we have it kind of nice we can pop up and you can see we blurring this area right now a little bit more based on a mask okay let me go back to 11 about okay the next I want to take this combiner and connect to our top combiner so let's go ahead open and we'll go set this to multiply so we can remove it and we can take a string and you can see we can kind of bring right here middle area you observe we don't have that many flow we can apply after but you can see how we start removing kind of um, make smooth and nice adjustment to this so this will help us work as a mask for our combiner so we'll go right here and add this as a mask and on this case now when we start preview this and let me set my little bit lighting okay so when we start creating right here you can see now these areas does not go all the way or up and we masking isolating this area from any additional maybe effect or erosion effect that was applied from surrounding so we're creating this smooth and nice blending on the material so we're isolating a little bit more of that dark mountain on the middle that we're creating the other things also to understand with the masking cards work because we mask we don't necessarily need go take this colorizer and connect we can take this now and connect even to separate Perlin nodes. For example, we can take from here, connect to our colorizer, which is create this kind of a nice noise. And but we still have it all this flow because our mask is creating this. Except now our flow that we created have it even look more interesting because it doesn't have this uniform, it's have a little bit different effect, kind of grainiest almost more natural look to matching with our terrain so you can see like right here because what we're using similar same fractal to do for this noise so it start kind of blending even better with um overall color or map what we had before so in this case our flow better matching not just overlay it, it's more blending with the coloring that be under just kind of understand what's nice things about to creating these masks it's that they provide a little bit more flexibility in creating that so let's go ahead in our next tutorial we continue to add more details as well as well work more on deposits and other one coloring